In this video, we'll be looking at how to set an ID to your Dynamixo motor. To get started, you'll need the Dyna Manager program. The link will be in the description below. If you have a Mac, you'll want to download the Mac version. Otherwise, download the PC version. Once it is done downloading, drag the folder to your desktop. Now open that folder and open the Dyna Manager application. For hardware, you will need the Arbotics M microcontroller and an FTDI cable. Start by plugging in the FTDI cable onto your board. Make sure you have it in this orientation with the red facing left and the black facing right. Next, you will need a 12 volt power supply. To power the board with the adapter, make sure this pin is moved to the left. You can now plug in the power supply. We will now plug in the motor using the 3 pin data connector. After this is done, you can plug in the FTDI cable into your computer. Now open up your Arduino software. You'll want to navigate to File, Sketchbook, Arbotic Sketches, and then ROS. Make sure to set your board to the Arbotics X. Choose the correct serial port and the correct programmer. You can now upload the program to your board. Next, navigate to your Dyna Manager. Select your serial port and then press Connect. Then press Scan. Once your motor is detected, you can input the ID and then press Set ID. This message will be displayed once you are done. You can also test your motor by moving this yellow circle.